In the last weeks and days, we've been working on supporting um, Laravel devices out of the box. And how this looks, I want to show you in this video. So first of all, you press Add Device, so you create a new device. And you select um, from those templates here the type Laravel. And then you'll find a list of um, presets. When you select one of those presets, the dashboard is being created. Um, you just enter some keys in the dev EUI and everything is um, happening automatically. But um, if you're a developer or um, a device manufacturer, you might be interested in creating new devices or um, using your own payload decoders. So um, there's now generic LoRa device. When you select that, you can select your network in this case. And we give it a name like generic test device number three and some random um, dev EUI. We create that device by pressing add device. It takes a couple of seconds until everything is hooked up in the back end. And then it will take you to the empty um, device that you created. So first of all, we go into configuration. And then there's this um, Laravan template, um, this um, Laravan panel. And here, something that is really brand new is that we now got, now got the option to define payload decoders directly in data cake. This means that it's no longer necessary to do that on TTN, TTI or whatever. You can do this directly in data cake and you can also directly interact with the um, fields. So let's take as an example that this generic test device is um, sending something like temperature and humidity. So in that case, we simply create a field um, temperature and we also create a field for humidity Okay, let's do this here again. And we've got these two database fields and the payload decoder um, has to be structured in the way um, how our API works. So we give it um, the field, which is temperature and some value like, yeah, let's make it pretty warm. And also what we also need is humidity. Um, I'm sorry, like that. And let's make it pretty dry and there's also a function to test your payload decoders. So like in this case, it's hard coded, so we can put in whatever we want here and whatever port it is, we can test then and we can see, okay, it's temperature and humidity and temperature has been recognized, humidity not, maybe because I've made a mistake. Let's test this once more. And as we can see here, um, there's humidity also being recognized. Um, you save that. Payload, de payload decoder is hooked up. You go back into dashboard and you simply create um, a dashboard for that generic test device where we can choose, like in this example, temperature and humidity. So, ta-da, there it is. Pretty easy. And this is also um, the way that templates are being created. So in any case, if you're a manufacturer and creating devices on data cake and you say, hey, I want to have this device as a template in your device section, then it's absolutely no problem to do this as well. Um, to show you how this looks in the end, this for example is the Dragino LH-T65 uh, sensor. And in this case here, there is the payload decoder set and um, the way how we forward it. And um, data fields are being created automatically. And there is also um, a debug section where you can see that actual data is um, sent to data cake, how it is received and what the um, payload decoder decrypts like or um, encodes, like in this case for the um, clux, which is that um, power meter. Here we also got the payload decoders set. And as you can see here, this is a pretty large pay payload decoder, but even in this case, this works pretty well. Yes. So this is the fastest way to develop directly on Betacake with Laravan devices. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.